What's up, everybody? Jason here for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. 2022 Panini National Treasures Baseball 4-Box Case Break Pikachu is number 17. Just sold out. And again, guys, another case down. Posted up the last two cases potentially that we have. And uh, let's get this rolling, guys. So here are the names in the break. And then we had a little 10-team RMB. I think the one thing, too, I mean, besides, like, what Chad is mentioning, you know, I, I think... I think for people, obviously, that see the bigger picture here is, like, you know, you look at the stats, and it's amazing, right? Great. 300-plus yards, 350-plus yards, a couple touchdowns. You know, I get it, right? I mean, but, yeah, you, you kind of expose it, right? Most of them were small little routes that the receiver did most of the work, but Purdy will get credit for that. But I think, too, some of the plays he did do really good this game, you know, he had more than, like, three to five seconds to kind of run around and, and kind of eventually read – all the options, right? Go to your first progression, your second, your third. And that's just, you know, obviously the Seahawks not getting a crazy pass rush. So, I mean, just like anything else, right? I mean, if you get a good pass rush to a quarterback, you have to make him make quicker decisions. More prone to, to you know, overthrown balls, you know, potentially underthrown slash maybe intercepted. But, yeah, I think in the first half, Seahawks were getting a decent amount of pressure or... At least to the point where, you know, Purdy thought, hey, I'm, I'm going to squeeze it in here. But, you know, it didn't really happen. But second half was a total different. But I'm with you, Chad. Though. I mean, I, I hear you, though. A lot of those plays were wide open, right? No one, in, no one around. But that's just credit to, obviously, the play calling. But there was a couple plays that Purdy made with his legs around the pocket that was pretty nice. But I'm with you, though. I mean, I feel the same way, obviously. I Obviously, as an Eagles fan, I'm... Obviously, I think the Eagles can lose to anybody, just like I feel like they can beat anybody. But I feel like if the Eagles got to play the 49ers uh, in the championship round, per se, if they both advance, I feel like the Eagles would do pretty well against their offensive line and get to Purdy. It, it, that's what I just yeah sorry Chad I just seen what you just wrote yeah exactly <laughs> but I think for Jimmy G I mean we never I don't think we we always I don't at least I never thought Jimmy G was a, a like the greatest quarterback ever I think he was a great just managing quarterback like he, as long as he didn't make turnovers made some plays I think he was decent right won games. Won games basically. That's what he did, right? But I think talent wise, I don't think he was the most talented. I feel like Trey Lance was a lot more talented. But yeah, I think it's kinda hard to just give up on the Trey Lance train. At least I wouldn't. Six out of twenty five, Adonis Medina. Eli Morgan for Cleveland to ninety nine. And then we got Jordan Alvarez. And I'm not saying the Eagles would probably get like a gazillion ta uh sacks and just totally dominate the 49ers it probably still be a close game and it might even end up being a high scoring game who knows i mean there's been a couple games this year where philly had a kind of shootout battle but managed to get the sacks the interceptions the you know the the big plays throughout the game that helps seal the game but i mean yeah i i get what you mean again a lot of their wins this year too have been against teams that have not been really too good with defense all right, six and twenty-five. Adams Medina for New York. That's the Mets. That's going to Ed. Then we got uh, Eli Morgan, Cleveland. That's going to Ed, and then Houston, Emma. Arihara for Texas. That's David Chan. And we got Luis Gonzalez for Arizona. 6 of 10. Ed with the Diamondbacks. We got Christian Javier to 10 for Houston. Another one there for Emma.
Reed Detmers, 15 out of 49. Nice uh, patch autograph there. It's going to go to the Angels and Jason K. Ryan Express. How about that? A little Nolan Ryan for the Rangers, David Chan. Solid hit. Then we have a Tom Yonke. 38 out of 49. And that is a Boston executive. Boston Red Sox. Boston Red Sox. That's Jason K. I think this whole box so far has been all to the straight up teams. Actually, maybe not. Clayton Kershaw. Treasured material. I spoke too soon. 5 out of 15 for the Dodgers. And that is actually going to the RMB. 10 team RMB. That is 5 going to Barry Roberts. There you go, man. On the board. So I lied. Every hit but that one went straight up. So it looks like that filler with the hip parade is also sold out. We'll be doing that after my dinner break. Um, so we'll probably go through orders, see who sold it out, and then we'll add it to the schedule in a little bit. But don't worry, guys. I'm, I'm taking a little earlier dinner break just so I didn't really eat much for breakfast today. Um, so I want to eat a little earlier so that way we have more time for later tonight. And look at how thick this box is. Woo! There we go. We got a printing plate one on one in there. Finally, after like four or five straight cases of no one on ones, we got one. All right, Logan Webb for San Francisco. Ed with that one. Four or five. Ryan Zimmerman for the Nationals going to Ed as well. Aaron Judge, 21 out of 99. Yankees RMB. That's spot one going to Tristan. And then we got Tyler Stevenson for Cincinnati. That's 50 out of 99. Cincinnati Reds is Austin Caruso. We got Carlos Rodon for San Francisco, 75 of 99. Giants going to Ed. We have a Kevin Biggio for Toronto. 84 of 99. Toronto, that's 10 team RB. 84 for Kevin Holloway. And then we have a Camilo Duval, nice little RPA Midnight, three out of twenty-five. And I don't think this didn't fit in the top loader last time that good, so let's just put that in the slider box now. And that's for the Giants and Ed. Then we have a patch autograph one of one printing plate of Paul Molitor for Milwaukee Brewers going to Chad O. There you go. Nice one right there, man. And I don't think this is going to fit in one either, I think. Oh, this one does. Solid, man. And we got a booklet. Dual signature materials, 96 out of 99. Gavin Sheets and Jake Berger, both for the White Sox. 10-team RMB. Spot six is Kevin Holloway. Nice hit right there, buddy. And then one of these uh, treasured numbers. That's 13 out of 35, the big hurt for the White Sox. Spot three, going to Jason K.
Oh yeah, I will. Nice, man. So you think we're gonna pull something nice here? If you, if you, if you believe it, let's do it. Eight out of uh, five out of eight. Michael Taylor for Kansas City. Kansas City is Ed. Didi Gregorius for Philadelphia. That's Jason K. Then Yachty for St. Louis. That's Ed. We got Glenn Otto to 25 for Texas. Texas Rangers, that's David Chan. And we got a G Man Cho for Tampa Bay. Rays is Jason K to 25. We got Field Pass, that is a uh, Blake Snell for the Padres. Padres is 10 team RMB. 30, that's zero. Tristan. And we got it. Wow, look at that. RPA O'Neill Cruz. Three out of 99. What a beauty. Pirates going to Justin Martin. All right, all I'm missing is a Julio True RPA. There we go. Very nice hit there. Spencer Strider. Spencer Strider, patch autograph to 99. That is Justin as well with the Braves. We got to 10, Christian Bethencourt for Oakland. That's part of the 10 team RMB. 5 out of 10. 5 is Barry Roberts. And then booklet, Tom Seaver. A little cut auto. New York Mets going to add. All right, last box here, guys. There we go. All right, we have a National Treasures, uh, Brad Keller, Kansas City, that's Ed, and then Romy Gonzalez to 99. What is that? What is that? What is that? Oh, it's a one of one. Eddie Rosario. Little bat uh, barrel. One of one bat nameplates. Look at that. That's for Minnesota. Twins. Ed with that one. That's pretty sweet. And that's game worn used material as well. That's pretty sweet. Always got to touch the bat, you know? What a nice case. been a pretty solid case right a couple one ones for the Yankees RMB Luis Jill that's a 19 or 15 out of 99 spot 5 going to Barry Roberts and we got a Akil Badu for Detroit 78 out of 99 Detroit is a 10 team RMB 78 spot 8 it's going to decons. And how about another one of one? This time it's a printing plate. Autograph of Kai Wei Tang for San Francisco. One of one going to Ed. Back to back one of ones in this box for you, buddy. Let's 
Solid, solid box for you. But wait, there's more. Jake Myers for Houston. This time it's going to Emma, though. Nice little true RPA right there. We got a nice patch autograph of Novelli Marte for Seattle, 22 out of 25. And last hit is a clearly on the field of 25, Bob Gibson, little piece of the jersey and autograph. Very nice hit right there. That's going to St. Louis and Ed. Nice break for you, buddy. Well, I'd have to say a very, very nice case, guys. Uh, solid, solid hits all around. That one-on-one -on -one bat name play was really nice. All right. Tom Seaver, the O'Neal Cruz RPA. We got a Taylor to five. We got that Paul Molitor patch autograph, one of one. We got the Midnight RPA. What else did we hit earlier? Nolan Ryan earlier. All right, I think all in all, this is a pretty solid case. And then I think we had some stuff over here for the, the R&Bs too. Let me see on this side. R&B hits right here. All right, the duels. Oh, and Clayton Kershaw. Very nice, guys. So appreciate everybody. This was number 17, 18, 19 are in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com.